the Solution Series brought to you by Double Radius and hosted by yours truly, Jeff Holdenred. For the last 20 years, I've been here at Double Radius. I've been helping design systems. I've worked with clients. I've been on the ground, on site, with the tower crews as they put in their point-to-point, point-to-multi-point, their Wi-Fi solutions. And there's a lot of things that I've learned over those years, right? What we've done here is we have done a collaboration with some great manufacturers to put together something that, in my opinion, I think will save people a lot of time and money, and I want to teach it to you today. So we all know that PoE has been kind of your standard for everything over the years. Everybody loves it. It's simple. It's cost effective. But the one thing that you know we don't pay attention to is that the RJ45 or Cat5 port is the first thing to pop at a static discharge. So if there's lightning anywhere near the area, that's the first thing to go. So I've been a big pusher for DC and fiber over the years, wherever it's possible. And more and more radios today, you have that option. So when you think about DC and fiber, you know, we run our fiber up the, up the tower. Um, we run our DC cable up the tower. And because it's two cables, a lot of times we'll use these, these fiber clamps, right? And they work great, you know? But if you ask your tower crew or whoever's working on your towers or putting your radios in, what they think of these, nine times out of 10, they're gonna tell you they hate them. They take time. Uh, it's a lot of work to make this thing come together and actually sit right. So, I mean, it does a good job, but it's very time consuming. And if you're paying for your tower crew, you are wasting money. So, that's where this kind of came together. So, I want to thank PPC and Transtector for helping us, the three of us, come together and collaborate to build a solution that actually makes sense, will save time, and love to show it to you today and get your feedback. So what we have right here is an enclosure. Now this is an IP67 enclosure. And as you can see, we have a, a cable running through it. We'll get to the cable in a second. And the cable runs up through the main gland. We have a, a termination piece right here for fiber. And we also have a DC surge protector built into this. And then you have your, your block over here that you can put more cables into. And we'll talk through that. What's really cool, let's start with this. This is a transtector uh, DC surge protector. It is rated for 48 volts, uh, so we want to make sure we're doing 48 volt systems. There is a 24 volt version of this, but let's focus on 48 because that's pretty much the standard these days. Uh, what's really cool is they have this little, this is kind of the piece, uh, the main guts of it, and you can see it has a green kind of window in the front. That tells you it's good to go, right? Now, if it turns red, that means there's a problem and you actually got to swap it out. But you don't have to swap out the whole box. All you got to do is swap this little piece out You see Sometimes this comes in and just snaps in real quick and easy, simple, and away we go. So this actually runs in parallel with your power, which to the prof professionals, that's what they tell me is, the, is kind of the way that all these work, but now we're actually seeing the way it works. So DC surge protection, fiber connection. So now let's get into this cable, all right? This is where, I'm, I mean, this kind of puts the whole parts and pieces together. What we have is a hybrid cable. And the hybrid cable is nothing new. We've, we've seen them before, we've seen a ton of them. And yes, some of you can splice your own cable, use your own cables, the box stands by itself. But if you do need a cable, um, this is a half inch cable. It comes with one pair of 12 gauge uh, DC, so your red and your black. And it comes with one pair or two pair of SFP, uh, or uh, sorry, of, of your fiber, yeah, single mode fiber with LC, LC on the end. On the, the high side or the tower side, this same cable comes 12 inches um, of, of play in your cables. Now, what works really cool is now you have your radio that's going to be mounted up here. Um, this would be mounted to your pipe mount or to your tower. It also has a ground, the big green and yellow cable right here. This actually runs to the DIN rail and everything in here, uh, making it grounded to the mount, which then in turn gets grounded to the tower. So if your tower is grounded, or if you're on a rooftop, as long as it's grounded, this is grounded, right? Good to go there. <clears throat> so with our cable, this is a half inch cable, which is what's really cool about this being a half inch cable is now we can use snap-ins. So you can use a seven eighth snap-in with a half inch grommet, or you can just use a half inch snap-in and, and use these on the tower, which your tower crew loves. They, they probably stock them like crazy and they can just go down the tower, snap these in every three feet and away you go. Um, on the ground here, we, we talked about we have 36 inches here. You would run your DCs into a DC surge protector on the ground. That way we're isolating uh, the, the static discharge or you know the energy from lightning. 
So you have your DC rack mount solution from Transnector here. This would run into it and then a jumper to your power supply, whether that be ICT, uh, a mean well, whatever you really like to use for that. I mean, I'm really excited about ICT's new DIN rail solution. Um, that, that's a perfect solution for what we're talking about here. They also have their rack mounts. We did a video on those a little while ago, so you should go back and check those out. Um, and then your fibers will just go straight to your switch. Now, we don't care what switch you use. Obviously, everybody has what they love. Um, you know, here at DR, you could, you could work with a Grand Stream, you could work with Edge Core, you could work with Cambium. I mean, these are just a few of the switch manufacturers that we supply today. So these would go right into your SFP ports there. Um, at the top, once again, your, your LC to LC, we would just run a small armor jumper out of the grommet here directly to the radio. Uh, and this radio, I'm just showing you here, you can see, you know, we have a point-to-point -point radio here from Cambium. You have your DC connection. Now, what's cool is we actually did this with, with two, I said earlier, two SFPs. What I like about that is we could actually run this to a single radio and have two connections in case something ever goes wrong. We could put it into both the SFP ports uh, into this one piece, one cable. Or if you're running in east and west, um, because we have the ability to run multiple DCs out and multiple fibers out, we could run one fiber to the east, one fiber to the west, and this box will support both of those. Okay, so it's a great little solution for that. Um, or if you're running your LTE solutions, you know, we talk about LTE. A lot of the LTE radios today have DC and fiber in them. You know, you've got your buy cells, uh, you got your Telrad. Maybe you're using uh, Cyclu, you know, you're using Cyclu 80 gig point to point, using Cambium 80 gig point to point, you know, Cyclu, rock and roll. So it, it really is uh, manufacturer agnostic. As long as it takes DC and fiber, this box will work and save you time. Um, one of the other really cool things I want to talk about with this is, you know, you talk about uh, DC surge. If you look at an outdoor surge protector, what does it cost, right? Some of them, they range from 250 bucks to 400 bucks or 400 and change, right? This entire enclosure together with the DC surge and everything you see right here is under $400. So we are offering this here. Reach out to your rep, get pricing and info. Uh, but what's really cool is, like I said, it's just a neat little uh, IP67 enclosure. Um, snaps in good to go mount it with your antenna mount it with your radio have a small jumper from it and and away you go. one other thing that's really cool we talked about the four ports just to add to it real quick uh, if you look at like 450m uh the 450m uh, from cambium the three gig it uses a uh, you know uh, a four conductor power supply or a four conductor cable because we have the ports on the dc side we can run four out so you're running two up and four out works very simple very easy. So once again, save time, you know, work smarter, not harder, save money. And uh, this is a great solution. So please give us your feedback. We're, we're actually getting ready to deploy these here. Uh, we've got an install coming up uh, in, in, in a few weeks and we're going to be using these. I'm going to actually take some pictures when we're on site doing it. So you actually see real world. We'll post those on our social media page. Make sure you check those out. And then uh, that's about it. But give us your feedback. Reach out to your sales rep. Ask them questions, ask them for pricing. These cables come in multiple lengths, so they'll be able to supply you with the different length sizes and prices for that. Hope you enjoyed it. Please check this out. Check out our other videos and look forward to seeing you again on the Solution Series. Have a great day.